And welcome to the Rangers postgame recap. I'm Justin Adams here with Rangers men's basketball coach Brady Bergerson. And this is after the uh, Metro State Roadrunners beat the Rangers by a final score of 80 to 73. And coach, um, I know it's been a, um, a great season for you. Um, but first, what, uh, what did you say to your team afterwards in the locker room? Uh, well, the first thing I told them was uh, that, you know, this was a little bit of a strange reality. Um, uh, you don't prepare for these moments. You, you know, there, was, there wasn't a thought that, you know, we were going to stop playing after tonight. Of course, we're coming in uh, very confident um, and uh, feeling good about who we were and where we were at. Uh, so it was, a, it was an awkward, um, unprepared, uh, emotional statement to the team. Um, I, I thank the seniors on a personal level for what they've given us and, and done for this program. And, um, and my staff in particular, and, and um, we had a good moment in there. Uh, some other guys spoke, and it was a, it was a, a good team moment for us. Um, and uh, you know, th that's that's all you can do at this point in time. And I want to congratulate Metro State for playing a terrific game, um, well coached, well executed, and they deserve to win tonight. They did a great job. Definitely. You know, one of the things you talk about, um, how Metro State came out today, I've seen that, um, took, definitely took out uh, Jarrett Broadbeck, who only had three points. Uh, but standing in um, for your team today, Noah King had a big day, mm -hmm. as well as Christian Little. But what did Metro State do defensively on Jarrett Broadbeck that made it so hard for him today? Well, they, they really pressured us well at the court um, and disrupted us a little bit that way. Uh, we weren't flowing into our sets um, quite as smoothly, and, and uh, they did a good job of limiting his touches and making his touches hard. I thought Jared did a great job of sharing the basketball. You know, they, they had one and two guys smothered all over him all game long, um, and I didn't do a good enough job of, of uh, calling things that I could get him an extra shot. But he did a great job of, of, of just getting the ball to his teammates in, in uh, open positions. And I thought we took, for the most part, we took what was given. Um, I'm proud of our guys. I thought our guys played really well and, and did everything that I asked of them. And, and um, so uh, I'm very proud of our guys as well. And, um, you know, it was, it's unfortunate to end this way. You don't want it to be that way. Uh, but it, as uh, we move forward and reflect, I know we'll be uh, proud of a lot that we did this year as well. Definitely. And I know it's, you know, really soon for you to be able to look ahead forward. But there are a lot of bright spots in this season um, for your team as well. It's not over yet. We'll get a chance to see what will happen with the NCAA mm -hmm. selections. But uh, this is a 21 year, uh, 21 season rather for your team. Um, you also won 14 games in regular season conference play. And as you were telling me a lot of times throughout the year that this is a young team. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great points to look forward to. What are some things specifically that uh, you could, you know, after this game washes away, you could look forward to for next season? Well, there's, there's a ton. You know, we've got two seniors, which means we have 13 returners. And, um, you know, the, the off season's where players are made, right? And so we've got to do a good job of uh, recruiting a couple more guys. Um, we've got to do a great job of, of uh, training our bodies and, and um, developing our guys and, and creating, um, you know, improving on the strengths that we have and, and improving on the weaknesses that we have so we can have better, well-rounded ball players. Um, there is no substitute for experience. And there's just, the only way to get experience is to play. The only way to get experience is to get experience. And we're gaining a lot of that um, as we, you know, as we go through. You know, last year we started two freshmen and sophomore. This year we started one freshman and, you know, a couple of sophomores. And, you know, so we're, we're moving up. Um, and uh, there are a lot of bright spots. We're excited about the future. We know it's bright, um, but a lot of work to be done. And, and um, more time to think more about that in the future here. Definitely, Coach. Great job this year. And we'll Thank definitely will wait along and see what will happen with the NCAA tournament selection. But as of right now, the Regis Rangers are eliminated from the RMX shootout as Metro State beat them today 80-73. to 73. So for all of us here at Regis University, I'm Justin Adams saying,